just focus on this. Hi, I'm Buddy Hutchins, and uh, I'm 17 years old, going on 18, the big one, 8, and uh, my occupation is I'm a high school student and a guitar player, aspiring blues musician, and um, I own six guitars, including this one. I just got this. This is my new baby. It's a Taylor um, acoustic, and uh, it was given to me by uh, Martin England um, of the Reconstructed out of North Berwick. Um, it was a gift, so it's a uh, very it's, a, it's an honor to have this one. Um, what brands of guitars do I have? This one is a Taylor. It's my first Taylor I've ever had. Um, I have a Fender. I have a Fender Squire. I have an Epiphone. I have a Guild. Um, and I have a PV bass guitar. Um, and an, I have an Eco. I have an Eco 12 string um, that I like. It's an acoustic. Um, the genres I like, the my favorite genre is blues music. So, you know, like... <laughs> those old kind of blues and I like uh, I like rock and roll music like out of the 60s 70s the stones all those guys um, um, <clears throat> what do I think of fenders well um, I have a fender and I've played fenders before and um, I want to take that I have this fender this is a fender squire um, it's the cheaper version of a fender stratocaster um, like Jimi Hendrix would play and all those guys um, this is the only Fender I've ever owned, and even though this is a cheaper model of Fender, um, a Fender Squire, it's, it's definitely very smooth. Um, something like a lot of other guitars don't have is the smoothness and the roundedness of a Stratocaster, if I can put it that way. Um, like the Taylor Acoustic I was just playing, or I have a Epiphone Dot. Uh, and the difference between those is that these are just so much smoother and com I can almost compare them to a, a Les Paul in the sense of how smooth and how quickly you can move around the fretboard. So that's something that uh, I've played many Fenders. Um, Telecasters, Stratocasters, my Squire, um, and that's what sets them apart from other guitars. Um, <clears throat> Like I said, um, what I like about this one is how smooth and how easy it is to slide up and down the fretboard. Um, what I don't like, particularly just about this model, not Fender in general, but this model doesn't stay in tune as much as I'd like it to. Like right now it's not very um, in tune. If I let it sit for a couple days, it'll just fall right out. Um, <clears throat> But uh, regular Stratocasters, those are fine. They stay in tune. Beautiful. Love them. And they're lightweight. Very lightweight and compatible. You can see how thin it is, you know. I think my arm's thick, barely thicker than this is. Um, that's what I like about these. Um, not too much to dislike. Um, for this, I don't know if it's this particular model or, or Stratocasters from Fender in general. But um, the pickups, I don't care for... It's very hard for me to find a middle ground when using my pickups. Um... Some days I really like the neck pickup, and I'll just go off that. Some days I like the bridge pickup, but sometimes in between it's hard to find that sound that I like because it gets very tony or very like tinny. Um, <clears throat> if I had to choose between any guitar that I wanted, um, I like Gibson. I like what Gibson does. Um, but Fenders, if I had to play it safe, I would go with a Fender Telecaster. Um, Fender Telecaster, they're, they're classic looking, you know. Um, they're smooth, they're just like the Strat almost, um, in likeness. Uh, I don't have one, um, I've played one. Um, but just the overall smoothness of that. So I would choose, Fender would be at the top of my list um, for guitars. Taylor would be second, This the acoustic I just got. Um, can I see that one? This is my Epiphone, my Epiphone Dot. This is classic looking. This is, you know, Chuck Berry used these, and um, like now Gary Clark Jr. uses one of these. Um, <clears throat> this is my baby. I got this one. My dad bought me this one, actually. So um, 
even though it's an Epiphone, I don't care for Epiphones. Um, Gibson's version of this, I, it's called the E335 or something like that. Um, it's, it's a lot better. Um, this is just a cheaper model, still very great. Um, so I would put this one up there. It's just one of my favorite guitars. Not brand, not Epiphone. Um, under Taylor. So that's that one. Um, I have an Eco 12 string guitar. This one was a gift as well. Um, this was this is about 40 years old. This was made in Italy. Um, it's, a, it's a very nice guitar. E this is the only Eco I've ever heard of or ever played. It's called the Ranger, I think. Um, and it's it's all right. It's quiet, you know. I took six strings off, so I only have six on. Um, it's very quiet, but it has a nice, you know, um, pit guard and looks very nice. And it was a gift. So I mean, I like all, I like all kinds of guitars. Um, if I had to choose Fender, Taylor, my Epiphone, Gibsons. Gibsons are nice. Um, the best brand on the market for the money you can get. I know Gretsch just came out with a like a small body, um, little small body acoustic, and it's like 150 bucks. And a lot of people are picking that up because of how cheap it is, but how yet um, how how good the quality of the actual instrument is for the money. And that's what a lot of musicians, including myself, look for when buying an instrument is the best you can get for the money that you have, you know, the cheapest for the best um, sound and the best durability. Um, like that Taylor, I wouldn't have gone out and spent almost a thousand dollars on that Taylor, so it was good that somebody gave it to me instead, you know, um, because I'm the type of guy that would go and spend a hundred bucks and be just as satisfied with that and having to tune it every time I go to play a song instead of just spending a whole crap load of money on something. Um, if I had the opportunity to tell Fender what I think about their brand is I would say Fender, um, I would say Fender cares the most about their products. Um, everywhere I go, like online, I'm always seeing ads like on Facebook for Fender and what they're doing and they're always advertising new models and I know I've checked out Fender's website. You can go on and create your own like custom guitar like a Stratocaster or something and I've gone on before and created my own, what I would want, the type of body, the type of wood, everything down to the little aspects of the tuning knobs. Um, and I haven't done that on any other websites. I don't know if any other brands of guitars provide that uh, opportunity, but um, I know Fender does, and I know that if I was to go spend 2000 or $1,500 on a nice guitar, that I would want to design it the way I want to, and I know Fender allows you to do that, so that sets them ahead there. Um, if I if I could give them any suggestions, um, it would be create a low end model, like like I said with Gretsch creating their small body for the like 150 bucks. I would say to Fender instead of just having a Squire, which they they're cheap, they're like 130, but they still fall out of tune. You know, um, there's other guitars you could get for the same price that probably would last a little bit better and would be more um, user friendly and affordable. So I would just uh, suggest that to them. Them otherwise, um, Fender's been around for since the early '50s. You know, so the early Stratocasters. You had Buddy Holly using those, and then all the way through Eric Clapton, Jimi Hendrix. Everybody, everybody's used one. You know, everybody has that Fender Stratocaster, that Fender Telecaster. You know, Keith Richards, he has his key, um, his uh, Telecaster. So every, you know, Fender's really, really well known and iconic. You know, so that's what sets them apart. Um, and that's about it. That's all I got for you. And uh, I hope you'd enjoy it. And uh, continue rocking on, guys.